Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this website using Next.js. Now in this video, we will create this uh, nav bar, which is uh, this uh, header section and also this uh, footer. So let's get started. Right here is our app as of now. So let's go ahead and go to our project. And uh, let's start by creating a new file inside the components folder. And we'll just name it navbar.tsx. And here we'll create the navbar. So I'll just tap export default function navbar. And here we'll just return a div for now. So I'll just type navbar. And let's also create one more file called footer.tsx. And here let's tap export default function footer. And uh, here I'll just return. A footer element. Right now we want these two elements to be added to all the pages in our app. So here we can see that if we go to for example the categories page. Here also we have the nav bar and the footer. So we have the nav bar and the footer displayed in all the pages. So we need to add it to the layout.tsx file. So let's go over here and uh, here inside the body. Here we are adding all the children. So before that, let's add the navbar. So I'll just type navbar and we'll just import it from at components navbar. And let's do the same for the footer. So let's go after the children and let's type footer and let's import it from components footer. And now if we go back to our website, here we can see we have the navbar and the footer displayed. Now let's go ahead and create the design of this navbar. So first of all, we need to add this uh, heading and then we need to have this paragraph and then on the right side, we need to have this button. So let's go back and uh, let's go to the navbar component and this is going to be the container division. So in that, we will create one more division for this uh, left content. So let's create a div and in that we need to have a link for this uh, heading. So let's create a link from next link and uh, here we need to add tech news and let's also add the href so let's tap href and let's set it to the home page and let's add this tech news inside an h1 so I'll just cut it from here and let's create an h1 and let's paste it over here and then we need to create a paragraph and here we need to add this text so I'll just copy this and let's paste it over here and here we need to add a line break so after innovations, let's create a line break. Right now, let's go outside this division and let's create another division. And this will be for this sign in button. So this is basically a link. So if I click on this button, we can see that we are taken to the sign in page. So let's create a next link. And here let's type sign in. And here for the href, let's just type sign in. And we haven't created this page yet, but we'll just add the href over here. And we'll also add a class. So let's type class name and let's set it to btn. Now we are adding this btn class over here because we're going to reuse this btn class for all the buttons. Right now, if we go back to our website, this is how it looks. Now let's go ahead and style this. Now before this, we'll just add some styles to the layout so that we have this max width and all the content is centered. So let's go back and let's go to the layout.tsx file. And here we will add a div as the container of all these elements. So let's create a div and let's wrap it around the navbar and also the footer. And let's add some styles over here. So let's tap class name. And here let's add some tailwind classes. So let's tap LG for large and let's tap max W of 900 pixels. So now if you hover over this, we can see that this is the style being added. So we are setting a min width of 1024 pixels. And if it is greater than that, then uh, we will have the max width set to 900 pixels. And uh, let's also type LG and let's add padding of left and right to 16. And uh, we can see that it is set to 64 pixels. And let's also type MX auto, which is margin left and right to auto so that the content is in the center. And let's also set the padding top and bottom to 8, which is 32 pixels. 
And let's also add a shadow of Excel. And now if we go back, here we can see that we have our styles added. Now let's also set a min height of the full screen. So for that we have to type min edge screen. And now we can see that it has this full height. Now we want to have this footer at the bottom. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to set the display to flex for the container division. And uh, for the children, we will have the full height possible. So let's create a div for the children. And uh, here for the div, let's add class. And here let's type flex auto. So this will take up all the space that it can. And uh, we also need to set the flex direction to column. So let's type flex call. And now we can see that the children take up the whole space and we have the footer at the bottom. So everything is working as expected. All right, now if we decrease the width of the browser window, here we can see that for smaller screens, we have less padding left and right. So let's go back and here let's type PX and let's set it to 8 for smaller screens. And for larger screens, we are setting it to 16. So now if we go back and decrease the browser width, now we can see that we have a padding left and right of 8. Right now let's go back to the nav bar and uh, let's start styling this. Now the first thing we need to do is uh, we need to bring these elements side by side. So we have the tech news and uh, this paragraph at the left side. And then we need to have the button on the right side. So let's go ahead and for the container division, let's set class name and let's set the display to flex. And uh, let's type justify between. And now if we go back here, we can see that we have this content on the left side and we have the button on the right side. Right now let's add a padding bottom. So let's type PB and let's set it to four. And let's add a border bottom. And now we can see we have this border bottom. And let's also add a margin bottom so that we have some space over here. So let's type MB and let's set it to four. And now we can see it looks all right. Right now let's go ahead and style this H1. So here we have this H1. So let's add some classes. So I'll just have class name and let's set the text to 4XL. And uh, let's set the font to bold. And uh, let's type tracking tighter. So this will reduce the letter spacing. And let's also set the color of this heading. So I'll just go ahead and create a new color in Tailwind CSS. So let's go over here to tailwindconfig.ts and here in theme extend, I'll just delete this background image and here I'll just add colors. Now here we will add a dark color and uh, let's set the value to 312480. And now if we go back to the navbar.tsx file and if I just type text hyphen dark and if I just open the suggestions, here we can see that we have text dark color displayed. And now if we go back, here we can see that we have the color added to our H1. Right now let's style this paragraph. So here for the P, let's type class name. And let's set the text to small. Right now let's go ahead and style this button. So here for the div, let's go ahead and add some class name. And let's set it to display of flex. And let's type items center. And now it is in the center. Right now let's style this btn class. So let's go to the global.css file. And here let's type dot btn. And here we need to type at apply to add Tailwind classes. So here let's type bg and let's set the color to slate 200. And uh, let's set the padding left and right to 4. Padding top and bottom to 2. And let's set it to rounded medium. And let's set the font to semi bold. And uh, when we hover over this, we'll just set the scale to 105. And let's also add a smooth transition. And now if you go back here, we can see we have the button and we also have the hover effect. So that's basically it with the nav bar. Now let's go ahead and style this footer. Now for the footer, we have this text. So I'll just copy this. And let's go back and uh, let's paste it inside the footer component. So here I'll just paste the text. And uh, here for the footer tag, let's type class name and uh, let's set the padding top and bottom to three. And uh, if you go back, this is how the footer looks. 
So with that, we have styled the footer and the nav bar. All right, so that's basically it for this video. In the next video, we will continue creating this uh, design. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.